Greetings, St. Richard's Episcopal Church community. I'm Allison Harity, the rector here at St. Richard's Episcopal Church in Winter Park, Florida, and this is your e-news for Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Below, you will see a photo of Eve Carrington. Eve was a longtime member of St. Richard's Church and a psychologist here in Winter Park with her own practice. For years, her uh, Eve and her mother, Rose Carrington, who attended the eight o'clock service would come in early. Yes, that's right, like at seven. They would come in early to make the coffee that everybody enjoyed throughout adult education and then after the 10.30 service. Eve's daughter, Leslie, was married here at St. Richard's. And for many years, Eve contended with scleroderma, which is a condition that hardens your skin and also affects your internal organs. Eve has had had several hospitalizations over the years uh, and was always in good spirits, despite what might be going on with her physically. And in late March, Eve was hospitalized again at the very beginning of the pandemic. She was put in the ICU at Winter Park Hospital where she died. Eve was 63 years old. Thankfully, her mother Rose and her husband Juan were allowed to see her for 10 minutes before she died. This Sunday afternoon, after all of this time, her family has arranged a Zoom memorial service for her. Her sister Julie, with whom uh, Rodney Brasby, Eve's stepfather, and Rose Carrington, her mother, live, will gather at Julie's church to Zoom in, and her other sister Jill and Jill's family and Eve's daughter Leslie and her family, who live in the Northeast, will also be able to attend the event. And I have the honor of being the efficient at that Zoom funeral service. Eve was a beautiful part of the life of this special community here at St. Richard's. So while we can't all participate in the Zoom uh, memorial service, they will be recording it and I will make sure that you get a link uh, to how to watch that memorial service as, as you would like. But I ask you to please remember Eve and her family in your prayers on Sunday at 2 p.m. when that uh, memorial service will be going on. And I am so happy that uh, this is the week that we will hold our first in-person worship service since March. This coming Sunday, uh, September 13th at 8 o'clock in the Memorial Garden, we will celebrate Holy Eucharist Rite 1. We have six pop-up tents, which will cover most of the Memorial Garden to keep you in the shade. Full text printed bulletins will be provided to everybody who, sh who shows up. And your responsibility is to wear a mask and bring your own chair. The expectation is that you will keep a safe physical distance from each other. This is going to be a challenge, given the fact that we haven't seen each other in many, many months. And it's very hard to hear what we have to say to each other through masks. However, at this point, we want to be able to continue to gather outside and that means keeping a safe physical distance. And that means being satisfied with a wave and a loud hello instead of a hug and a deeper conversation. Rich Wilson, the deacon here at St. Richard's, and I will be carefully distributing communion using these really cool little pre-packaged communion sets. The wafer is on the bottom. You peel the paper off and you eat the wafer and then you turn it over you peel the paper off and you drink uh, the wine. Each person will get these uh, pre-packaged communion sets that are also recyclable. Thank you so much to our vestry person, Carmen Graham, for discovering these True Vine communion sets. And they are enabling us to safely participate in Holy Communion at 8 a.m. starting this Sunday, September 13th. In addition, this coming week, on Wednesday, September 16th, Bob McClure will resume his Wednesday morning Bible class. This time, it's entitled Words of Eternal Life. We will be meeting in person in the Theological Library, but only have room to accommodate about five people safely in that room. So the class is also being live streamed on Facebook, and we will ensure that you can access the class at any time after uh, Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. 
on both Facebook and YouTube. So uh, please let me know if you're going to attend in person Bob McClure's class and otherwise plan to join us live on Facebook 10 a.m. September 16th, Wednesday. As always, know that you are being prayed for as you continue to stay on the mission of St. Richard's Church, discovering God's grace, changing our lives and changing our whole world day by day.